allow me to teach you what so many of the jump videos have failed to do. That is, teaching the actual mechanics and secrets behind jumps. You see, there's over 100 combinations of race, gender, and move speeds, and there's often several ways to do each jump. There are also many, many jumps. So rather than simply showing thousands of example jumps, it's better to learn the mechanics so you can find jumps that work for you. I'll be demonstrating as male gnome without move speed to boots, which is one of the worst setups for jumps. First, I'll cover the most important concepts, then some secrets, and I'll round it out with any remaining jumps that you must know. The pixel clip is done by jumping into a wall at a slight angle and releasing your movement keys. Done correctly, your character will get stuck on the side of the wall. Turning your character mid-air does not affect this, but your move speed, angle, fall speed, wall type, and geometry do. Jump at some walls and you'll get a feel for this pretty quick. Moving or getting CC'd will cause you to fall. The wall jump is a forward jump performed while in a pixel clip. To do this, forward and jump must be pressed at the exact same time. This means you should be trying to press the buttons at the exact same time. You cannot visually tell if you have succeeded unless you are on a pixel clip. This is where the first secret comes in. Generally speaking, the worse your keyboard is, the easier wall jumps are. I am not an electrical engineer, so I am speculating, but this is likely due to the polling rate and or scan rate. To explain the concept, think of it like this. With a gaming or other high-end mechanical keyboard, 1000Hz polling means you have at most a 1 millisecond window to input a wall jump, or half a millisecond on average. Compare that to a bad keyboard polling at 125Hz, where you have 8 times longer, giving you an average of 4 milliseconds to input a wall jump. Figuring out which keyboard to use can be hard, but a quick test is to open Notepad and input a wall jump 100 times. If you can't get 100 in a row fairly easily, you need a different keyboard. Bad keyboards can be annoying, so if you want to continue using your old keyboard, you can simply use both, and swap when you need a wall jump. There are other ways to improve your wall jump consistency. Slam your fingers down on the keys quickly to reduce physical variance. You can also bind your wall jump keys to two keys in the same row right next to each other. This is what exploration jumpers do, but it can waste valuable key binds that you may want for PvP. The next technique is the corner align. Performing a corner align gives us a consistent position from which to execute our jumps. A catch is a mechanic where while running or walking into a wall, your character will catch on to something and be elevated. You can find these via brute force by changing your angle back and forth. These can give you that extra bit of height you need to make a jump. Be careful though, as there are often many different catches right next to each other. For example, here, there are possibly around 10 catches, and the ones to the right do not work for this jump. The next secret is the lineup, or how to aim your jumps. This can be done simply by learning the center of your screen based off the center of your character's head, but this is imprecise. A better method is to use an on-monitor crosshair, which can easily be created with a piece of tape, a pencil, and any shooting game with an accurate crosshair. Alternatively, you can use an add-on to draw a line up the center of your screen in-game. With the center of your screen accurately marked, you can aim at fixed objects to memorize precise angles for difficult jumps. Your vertical camera orientation does not affect jumps. Strafe jumps can also be used instead of forward jumps if you offset your camera 90 degrees accordingly. Let's look at three methods for the Alliance short graveyard jump. The safe method is done by performing a corner line, one wall jump, and a neutral jump. This is the most common method and the lineup is not precise. The fast method is the same, but replacing the neutral jump with a second wall jump. There is also a noob method, which removes the wall jump by giving yourself some run-up room. I do not recommend this, as it is slow and difficult. The steep pixel clip can be achieved by aiming slightly offset from perpendicular into a wall. When slowed, you don't have access to your normal jumps, so in some cases there are alternative jumps that use a steep pixel clip, like here. Once you master corner aligns, lineups, and wall jumps, you now have access to more jumps, for example, aligns along graveyard, which requires two wall jumps and precise lineups as a base speed gnome. You can now also do horde short graveyard by performing a corner align and a wall jump as your first jump with a precise lineup. 
This is a very difficult jump, given it only takes a tiny alteration to mess up your corner align, your lineup, or your first jump. After hitting the pixel clip, the second wall jump is easy, even as gnome without move speed. Let's cover some weird jumps. Horde banana shortcut as gnome is hard. To do this, walk up as high as you can, and aim for the corner up in the sky. Depending on where you begin your first jump, your lineup angle and pixel clip will be different. Therefore, your next jump will also vary, so aim to the specific point where you can run and wall jump. Only certain pixel clips will allow the second jump to succeed. Other races may have alternative strategies that may be a lot easier and faster. Another weird jump is Horde Long Graveyard. This can be done in practically infinite ways, so I recommend just trying stuff until you find something you're comfortable with. You shouldn't have to do any more than one wall jump. You can also try using Slow Fall if you haven't learned a method yet. The final technique and secret I will be teaching is the dismount jump. This is done by creating a macro that just says slash dismount, then pressing that shortly before inputting a wall jump. Try combining it with slow fall and possibly the flag for some quick movement across mid. Now that you know all the important jump mechanics, you should be able to learn the many alliance and horde tot jumps simply by watching someone else and practicing them, or by making your own jumps. You should now be able to copy or even create your own jumps for almost anywhere in the game you want to go. The last set of important jumps is the Alliance Fence Jumps. These jumps vary from being completely free to being quite hard, inconsistent, or slow depending on your race and gender combination. As Gnome, try using the Catch to save time when going from south to north, and slightly brush up against the Rock when going from north to south. For many examples of jumps, check out the classic Warsong Gulch Jumps Discord, which I will hopefully have linked in the description. I also recommend Zith's Jumps 101 video now that you know how jumps work.